barrage of bullets ring out at a Broward County mass transit facility. CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner is live at that scene in Pompano Beach with more on this deadly deputy involved shooting. Morgan, can you tell us where you're standing in relation to where this all went down? Good morning. Yes, yeah, so around 1130 last night, deputies got a call. There was a shooting somewhere around where I am, which is West Copens Road. While they were en route to this location, they learned more information that there may still be an armed individual in the area. Now, when deputies arrived here, we now know it's a Broward Mass County Transit facility, which is right behind me. They did locate an armed individual. Now, in this video you are about to see taken by employees within the facility. You can actually hear when deputies arrive. When they arrive, that 59 year old male does fire upon the deputies, and three deputies do fire back. Now, I want to warn you in this video that you can clearly hear the gunfire. It is inside. It's inside. It's we can hear it. It's so, is that? So, that that's not. So the deputies did kill that man. We now know he is 59 years old. But prior to that shooting, we just found out that that individual had actually killed a coworker prior to deputies arriving on scene. Now, after the shooting, they learned that this armed individual had gotten into some type of, um, I don't know if it was an argument or a dispute, but he actually shot and killed one of his co-workers prior to the uh, deputies making contact with him. As for the deputies, anytime there is a deputy involved shooting, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement takes over. Those three deputies, because they all did fire their weapon, they are all right now on administrative assignment. As for the identities of the two co workers, they are not releasing their identities until the family is notified. Live in Pompano, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.